One, two, three. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Bad cops, bad cops. Bad cops, bad cops. Bad cops, bad cops. Bad cops, bad cops. Yes, so many cops are on the take. What do you expect when they use tear gas and tanks? Whether in a car or on a horse, cops don't mind using excessive force. Bad cops, bad cops. What you gonna do? Bad cops, bad cops. What you gonna do? Bad cops, bad cops. What you gonna do? Bad cops, bad cops. This is filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> so I can't even explain. There's what's happening here with the police right now with COVID and the vaccine mandate, but it's, it, it blows my circuits of like, of not just like trying to process what they think is happening here. So apparently we have across the country, we have um, police officers in New York and Seattle and Los Angeles are all against the vaccine mandate. Um, even, uh, even though like they, they're supposed to be public officials who um, are supposed to protect the public for public um but instead they're um just want to do this stuff so we have in seattle um firefighters and seattle police officers that were fired for not wearing the mask mandate are, are feeding the homeless um and then we have um, the was this I, I don't think that this was like the intended benefit but i'll take it <laughs> I mean, but don't feed them the Rona, though. I mean, the, the homeless people have masks on. <laughs> what does it say? So we have here Seattle PD and Seattle Fire walking up the st stairs to turn their boots, turning their boots. Wait, it looks like one of them is walking up the stairs to turn in his baby, too. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> hopefully, don't, don't, hopefully these cops don't notice that's a baby with the boots. Uh, I, I told you not to give me a real baby. <laughs> and then they were all sad. And then this strange display, they left boots. These people are not dead. They're alive. Boot. They, they, they're actually alive. But they're turning their boots and uh, the show yeah, this, that... Yeah, the, the city did lose heroes, you know, because they died prematurely. Yeah, oh, so... wait, no, you were talking about these people who didn't want to get a vaccine that, you know, one of over two dozen that they would have had to have to be able to just, I don't know, go to preschool as children. So, so it's strange. It's like these people, uh, like, like. Good. I don't want you to be. I don't want you guys to be police officers. Um, if 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 that is your definition of hero, then good riddance. <laughs> Keep it moving. We'll we'll find some other people who care more about public health and the and the and the and the well being of someone other than themselves. So this is it's not Seattle. So it's across the U.S. that the clash between city officials and police over vaccine. I thought that I thought that they follow orders. So I mean, that's what I was told, that police officers and firefighters and, and members of the military, I was told that they followed orders. But they only follow orders when it comes to, you know, killing black people in the streets for no reason. They'll follow that order. So this is happening like in Chicago. We have um, urge requirements, um, the northern requirements for Lori Lightfoot. Um, and this is all she like she sucks up to these cops and they're still like, fuck you. Um, that's a whole nother story. Yeah. Um, and in Baltimore, we have a police union leader told officers not to disclose their vaccine status. Like, like what, uh, like, this sounds like, it sounds like I, I don't want, this is like the red flag century right here. Like right away, like why are you, you going to tell suspects not to disclose, you know, their address and name status when you accost them in the street? So you're going to tell them that too? We have cities, city leaders in San Jose, California, decided that just as a vaccine mandate was taking effect to allow unvaccinated officers to remain employed through the end of the year of incremental discipline. The fuck is that mean? And probably Arbor, the longer they go without being vaccinated, the more um, the more penalties they pay, probably monetary. And Arbor, uh, they, they're, they're committed to their vaccine mandate, despite the pushback. Um, so 
Seattle Police Unit expressed fears that the city's shortage of will worsen. This is me holding people hostage with violence and intimidation right here. Well, I, I, but, but, but you could look at it another way. Yeah. I mean, you're not able to get all the police officers onto the spaceship <laughs> with Jeff Bezos, right? <laughs> right. But maybe the Rona is kind of helping you out here. Yeah. I mean, isn't it crazy seeing this? The Rona is like the one that's like, it's defunding the police. It's the most. <laughs> it's, like, it's like nature is doing it for us. I mean, this is, this is insane. Um, so, so, and this is crazy. We need, we Walk- need to do a nature time defund the police edition. And then, and this is and this is so backwards. This is the backwards thinking. Well, I don't want backwards thinking people with guns in the streets. Fuck these people. More than four hundred and sixty American law enforcement officers have died from COVID infections. They have a whole web page yep. for this. Um, no, 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 they, no. The web page is for officers who have died in the line of duty, and they wanted to like build them up and mythologize them so that you can have a place to point to to say this is why we kill black people in the street for no reason. Oh, that's right. Seventy percent of these deaths are caused by violence at the hands of Caucasian males. Hmm. Well, yeah, this should still be able to justify us killing black people in the street for no reason. We have the site down. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, You know, maybe we should take the site down because it's not jiving with the rhetoric uh, that's coming from all of these police organizations. Because when you look at it, even white men cannot kill police officers at the rate the Rona is. No, no, no. I mean, we have more than four times as many officers have died from COVID-19 as from gunfire in the same period that they were saying that Black Lives Matter and T for super soldiers were going out there assassinating law enforcement officials all across the country. They were saying all this shit. Meanwhile, COVID-19 was like, was like being like that fucking Rick and Morty character. Oh, let me go kill him again. I mean, it's like, that was the real threat. And you guys were like anti-mask, anti-vaccine, we just had a situation in, in New York City where officers were asked by some random guy why they're not wearing masks in the no, closed put it up. Put it up. subway put, platform. Put it up. And he got uh, shown. And, 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 and while you get that, right, yeah. um, I want to make it clear, too. I'm not against straight white men. I'm not against white men. I make the point because when people talk about how officers are, are I got the itchy trigger finger when they're shooting unarmed black people or, or you know in the back or in the face or you know from the sky or whatever it is they want to talk about how you know this perception of black people and how we're violent towards police no the vast majority of the violence comes from legal gun owners you know, in, in middle America, those are the people that are killing police, especially in these in these uh, these uh, traffic stops. Yeah, it's not it's not, bla- the, 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 you know, of course, it hap- happens occasionally, you know, where black people do it. But the vast majority are white male. So this is what happened here. This guy was asking them why they're not wearing a mask and they started. And this is this how piece. they responded. Yeah. When I've seen people on social media making excuses for this, oh, well, maybe he hopped the train. No, that's not how they react when somebody evades the fare. And look at that guilty ass look in her face. That's not because he evaded the fare. They're also required to provide their names and badge numbers upon request. It's like strange. Why do we, it literally, it's starting to feel more and more like we have a hostile force that that's hostile to us on the streets and the vaccine mandate and the anti-masking has uncovered that. And yeah, totally. Like, you know, these are people not why you why, because why everything you... we've ever heard about police and how they do their job. They undid all of that with their approach to the vaccine. They undid They undid it all. Oh, you know, we're here to enforce the law. You know, we're the law. You know, we're, we're the last line of defense between, you know, civility and chaos and blah, 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 fucking blah. But at, at, at the end of the day, when the chips were down and they had to take a little bit of a shoulder soreness, you know, twice in 29 days. Oh, I, I can't follow orders. 
and, and it's just like from like and the thing is this is like a i feel like from like my i mean like i'm, I'm going on the middle of the line perspective even someone who might think cops are the greatest thing ever is just i can't imagine seeing this like what what is happening here you know like what why are they acting like this i um, think a lot of these cops that die from the rona their fellow cops photos from they're, they're acting like they Texas never existed because it goes against the narrative reveals a stunning fact covid is the number one police killer this year and was last year as well these pictures posted by the officer down memorial page that has been tracking law enforcement covid they're going to shut that page down their tally oh just like say they're not dying from covid anymore from the infection since the pandemic started that is five times the number killed by gunfire you're exposed to bodily fluids you're exposed at, on a good day you're exposed to people coughing you're exposed gross to people getting you know being close talkers and getting you don't want the vaccine to- <laughs> <laughs> oh Yo, that's a good point i didn't even make that connection <laughs> off the ground and they've fallen for all those reasons former displays police chief and security consultant bill kushner tonight says law enforcement officers are especially susceptible to COVID, and why the officer down memorial page is so jarring documenting 228 police killed by COVID this year compared to 48 gunfire deaths last year 245 police covid deaths compared how's to it just as many as gunfire. last year as this year the numbers from the officer down memorial page about the the, the the horrible increase in deaths line of duty deaths and they are rightly considered line of duty deaths from covid 19. nine illinois officers dead from covid according to the officer down page including one from melrose park four cook county sheriffs and these four from cpd all veteran law enforcement and this is the same police union as fighting the mayor about vaccine mandates worker, they rarely come in direct <laughs> that's how they honor the fallen you know they're out there driving a street sweeper you know picking up trash whatever the police officer by the nature of the jab responds to calls for bad the nature of the jab goes into people's homes and comes into contact with people on traffic stops and in the stores and oh walking down the street and they're more prone to this contact with the individuals than yeah pa- pause that real quick Chicago. Chicago so so imagine let's go back to the traffic stop right yeah okay now we're gonna take race out of it I just want to pose a scenario for the viewer to visualize imagine you're a police officer right uh somebody has uh I don't know I don't know, um, a tail light um, has a, a slightly cracked housing and you need to pull them over uh, because you've got nothing better to do, okay? So it's, you know, October, November is getting a little chilly, right? So all their windows are up, right? This person does not know, or maybe they do know. But they've got the Rona and they're shedding virus all throughout the car. In fact, the all of the air that's in in the car is just fucking rona it up, right? Yeah, just driving an incubator of right. Rona around, right? Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, roll down your window. Uh, may I have your license, registrations, and a fucking gas cloud full of Rona? And and as Messiah said previously. You look at that scenario alone and you want to fight against getting the vaccine? Really? Yeah. I mean, I can I can see like I I don't know, this is weird to me. Like you're supposed to be a public official, public facing person who deals with snot, who deals with people with no shoes. Uh I mean like I don't know. I mean, they've just... got robots now to smell the homeless people, so <laughs> So, and these are just the police COVID deaths. The vaccine status of officers who died has not been reported, and there's no data available for officer illness from the virus or for lost time on the job. And Chicago is not oh my alone God. in the current. Nobody cares about the survivors. City officials can mandate officer vaccines or testing. It's just closest to home and involves the second largest city police force in the nation. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe. No, no, no. No like one like that video. That was like really the, depressing. Hey, you want to see another video, happy video about cops dying in the streets from, from a fucking pandemic? No, I don't think so. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's absolutely ridiculous. So this is where we are now. We have... 
people supposed to be um we're supposed to get behind you but you don't want to protect the community in a basic way um so how can we imagine you with weapons how can we imagine you with robot dogs if i mean now they have a whole this we, we found out on black power magic out um earlier in the week that apparently there's a whole different kind of brands of armor cars there's a whole brand industry of if you can get a pickup armor car you can get a you know a normal armor car you can get like you know a fucking you know normally a, a mini luxury Cooper. brands yeah you get a coupe you get a mini coupe armor vehicle you know you can get uh so this is a whole industry to have here but when it comes to just getting a basic shot um we're having a hard time with that you know so it's i mean to- and again and i'll keep mm-hmm. i'll keep harping on this as long as i have to these police officers are whining about the vaccine they have o- o- around two dozen vaccines that were mandated that they took before What's the fucking problem now? And then also um, this like uh, almost just like a disclaimer. We also have to realize that this kind of dichotomy between anti-vax and, and vaccinated is totally blown up out of proportion. We already know more than 70 percent of people in the United States have gotten the first shot already. That's more than the majority of people. So this whole argument anyway, as you see it, it's like overblown. So I can. So it's just like a small majority of people. Are, are killing people um so you have to put that in perspective it's not half and half the country it's not it's not that's not even happening that's not happening it's not half the country anti-vax and half the country vaccinated it's actually way more people actually vaccinated than what the media tries to make you feel like but i've even uh, been arguing with people who have been vaccinated making anti-vax arguments which confuses the shit out of me <laughs> like what i i don't get it I, I guess they want more people to like. Maybe that's maybe that's the evil part of it. Oh, I yeah, got the no. shot, so no one was gonna get the shot. You know, oh, there, oh, there's oh. Uh, there's an expectation that we're gonna end up with a seven-figure death toll by the time this shit is over. Uh, yeah, a seven-figure and... death toll from the Rona, and the thing is, we're already seventy-four percent of the way there. Yeah, and so... now that you know, immune systems are gonna start. Uh, with 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 uh, especially here in the in the northern hemisphere, we don't have uh, access to sunlight for as many hours or as intense. So, our vitamin D production is going to drop even lower than it was before. Our immune systems are going to be even more compromised. Uh, people are going to be huddling around other people. They're going to be uh, spending less time outdoors and more time indoors. That and virus saw, is going to circulate even more. And, We're going to get a higher death toll. And you saw this in microcosm of the police deaths. They're already matching last year already. They're matching yeah. last year's death and with this in October. <laughs> so like, yeah. so that's not a good sign when we call it, as things get colder. Um, so that's that's a bad cops virus fusion segment i guess uh, so i don't know it sounds like uh bad cops dead cops edition oh shit. that's what it sounds like <laughs> and if you yeah. and if you have a problem with me saying that then i challenge you to have a bigger problem with these officers putting themselves in danger on purpose because these officers that died they weren't heroes they've uh, well well, last year's you can kind of make that because they didn't have vaccines back then. But for the officers dying today, you're not a martyr. You're not a hero. You're a fucking dumbass. You're not sacrificing your life for the good of anything or anyone. He's leaving your, your wives kids. and children are yeah. going to fucking suffer because you're not around anymore. Because you didn't want to take a fucking vaccine, which would have just been one more out of the 20 plus you've already been taken. Oh, yeah, those are mandated, too. And some of y'all officers, let's talk about, you know, that little blue pill that you like to take, right? That Viagra is made by one of the companies that made the vaccine. So you'll trust them to get your dick hard, but you won't trust them to keep you alive. You make no fucking sense. And that was made when less computers were around, too. So you guys trust that pill. Uh, so that's Black Power Magic Hour. Follow us on Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, 
YouTube, because Facebook um, might replace us and make us white power magic hour with blonde hair, blue eye people. And then Dr. Regenius, he's talking shit on Twitter, uh, YouTube, Discord, uh, Twitch, and that's bad cops, zombie cops, COVID cops. <laughs>